For any fan of Italian cycling, which is all cyclists, life on two wheels is not complete until you've spent a significant amount of time on a Bianchi. The issue with this is, of course, expense. Italian racing bikes are beautiful, exotic, performance-bred machines where the cost of the overall package is far down the list of priorities. You don't go to Milan to buy cheap shoes or cheap bikes. There are exceptions to this, uninspired lumps with Italian names and off-the-shelf entry-level components that fit a bargain price point slot on shop floors. And to be perfectly honest, we were concerned Bianchi had produced just that with their new entry-level racer, the Bianchi Sempre. What we found was indeed an exception, but of a very different kind. The Sempre is a carbon monocoque frame from Bianchi's Born for Performance line, meaning race bike. The head tube is short, the wheelbase is narrow, and the angles are steep. Interestingly, the front center is quite short, while the chain stays are a few millimeters longer than some race bikes. The top tube and down tube are large without being freakish, while the most svelte shapes on the Sempre are reserved for the rear end. The seat stays are quite wide, but very flat, and angled to the wheel plane at 45 degrees before terminating in a slender monostay. The use of nanotech, small particles that fill voids in the carbon, helps create enormous stiffness and strength out of these slender tubes. The steer tube is one of the few places the budget price point of the bike is revealed. The Campagnolo Veloce spec gets aluminum, mated to straight carbon blades. If you opt for the frame set alone or the Ultegra build, the fork is full carbon. Weight for our 59 centimeter Veloce build was a beefy 19 and a half pounds with pedals and a bottle cage. The cost? $3,149. The technology lavished on this entry-level race frame already sets the bike apart, but the entire package takes this a step further with Reparto Corsa. Italian for race department, it's a name Bianchi has been using to describe its very best for a long time. It's also the name they've used to tie the entire package together and add that Italian flair. Many of the components have been rebadged with this name. The reality is these are run-of-the-mill components, the kind we expect to see on a price point bike. But the simple continuity of a Reparto course of paint job gives the entire bike a style and feel fitting an iconic brand like Bianchi. The only component that escapes this treatment are the FSA Gossamer Cranks, but the included BB30 makes it easier to overlook. The position is aggressive and inspires a racy attitude from mile one, a traditionally Italian position. It provides very positive feedback from the road. It's information a rider looking for a comfort bike doesn't want, but a performance rider will find invaluable. Jump on the pedals and the Sempre responds in a big way. The rear end with its rather slender chain stays provides very solid power transfer and gives the bike a taut, responsive feel. As good as the Sempre is under power, it does lack that scintillating kinetic explosion some Pro Tour level carbon bikes provide. This same power transfer is on display in the mountains as well, but as the road gets steeper, this performance falls off. A pound or two isn't as big a deal as the industry makes it, but the Sempre is four or five pounds beyond some bikes, and that matters when the grade reaches double digits. Of course, those bikes are also four or five thousand dollars more. The Sempre's geometry provides a tight wheelbase and a very neutral weight distribution. On the road, this translates into handling that can only be described as intuitive. As a Criterion bike, the Sempre will absolutely shine. With its weight distribution and intuitive handling, banging a few elbows in a tight, rough corner can easily be managed. As much as we love the fact that Bianchi has created a truly Italian racer for just over $3,000 with the Sempre Veloce, we would opt to build our own with the available frame set. Swap out the compact FSA cranks and the FSA brakes for a full Veloce group with a standard crank set and you will be race ready with the added bonus of the full carbon steer tube for a lower overall weight and don't even think about getting any color other than the Celeste Green or any group other than Campagnolo. That would be like going to Rome and eating at McDonald's. As long as you're not a 150 pound mountain goat, the Bianchi Sempre delivers enormous performance and Italian flavor for much less than riders have been forced to pay in the past. I'm Ben Edwards. Thanks for watching pelotonmagazine.com.